When two-year-old Yusuf Hashi was admitted to the stabilization center in Hargeisa Hospital, Somaliland, he was in a serious condition. He was vomiting, had constant diarrhea, a high fever, and weighed just over eight kilos, half the weight of a healthy toddler. After several days of treatment and feeding by staff, he's made a dramatic improvement. When I brought him here, he was very sick. He could only be fed using the tube. But now I've seen a lot of improvement. He can drink milk with his mouth. Yusuf's family, like many other Somali families, has struggled since most of their animals died during the drought. Awali Abdullahi, the supervisor at the stabilization center, says many young children become malnourished because they're not given suitable food. We give health education about uh, uh, about diet, also breastfeeding, like that. And when they go back to OTB also, we give another, another type of health education to continue the, the balance of diet. The stabilization center is always busy, with several children being admitted each week for treatment. It's the only stabilization center for severely malnourished children under five with medical complications in Hargeisa town and surrounding region. The local health centers refer children here if they have severe malnutrition and additional medical problems, such as vomiting, fever, malaria or diarrhea. We have uh, outpatient therapeutic programs in most of the facilities as well as the mobile. We have also uh, interventions aiming to address uh, the, the feeding challenges and we do uh, counselling. Once they've been discharged, the children attend an outpatient therapeutic centre for follow-up care close to their home. Here, along with other malnourished children who didn't have complications requiring inpatient treatment, they're given a package of nutrition services. These include a supply of peanut-based plumpy nut paste, vaccination, micronutrients such as vitamin A, deworming tablets, hygiene education and information for their mothers on breastfeeding, appropriate food for young children and treating illnesses such as diarrhoea. There are 200,000 acutely malnourished children in Somalia, including 50,000 so severely malnourished they're at risk of death. It's hoped that this basic nutrition services package, being operationalized across Somalia by UNICEF, with support from partners including the European Commission, will go some way to stopping this crisis and to allowing children like Yusuf to grow and thrive. This is Susanna Price reporting for UNICEF. For more information, go to www.unicef.org. Unite for Children.